What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're going to be talking about Scream 7 in this video here today. Mostly this is regarding Scream 7's filming schedule and what is most likely for us to expect going forward due to the writer strike and due to some other revelations courtesy of Cinestealth who has proven themselves to be quite reliable in the past. If you need some tips on why Cinestealth has proven themselves to be reliable, Cinestealth was the, one of the first accounts I saw on Twitter back in January to announce that Freaky Friday 2 was in early development and then what happened yesterday. For those of you who saw the announcement about it becoming official, that's one thing. Cinestuff was also the Twitter account, Twitter account, that I saw tweet out that there was going to be an announcement regarding a Friday the 13th Crystal Lake show a day before it even happened, I believe. And then the day after, we got the announcement. Cinestealth has also had some other things in the past that they've been correct about. So, Cinestealth is reliable, but we know in the past there's some circulating rumors already about Scream 7. One, before this is all before the writer's strike, most of it anyway. One, the rumor was that it was should that it should start filming in October, but that Paramount wanted it filming no later than October this fall. Uh, that was from Viewer Anon. And the other rumor that was out there from Jeff Snyder was the fact that Paramount might not wait for Jenna Ortega due to her schedule. But again, that was before the writer's strike. Then after the writer's strike, what I had learned or what I was told by someone I trust is that there is a script that it has already been completed. I'm assuming that was from Guy and James, but I don't know who wrote it. The other thing that I was told was that Paramount couldn't care less if they were to get Jenna back or not. That does not mean that they are actively trying to do the movie without her. That does not translate to that. Uh, but here's what Cinestealth is currently stating. There was some expectation that Scream 7 could still shoot before the end of the year, but that's no longer the case. Early to middle of next year is more likely. Why? Not because of Jenna Ortega, but because of the writer's strike. Radio Silence and Melissa Barrera are about to shoot an already scripted, already completed script at Universal. This is the Abducting Abigail film that's currently under the working title of Dracula's Daughter, I believe. Cinestuff continued to say, when the strike is over, Jasmine Savoy Brown is off to do Yellow Jacket Season 3. And obviously, Jenna is occupied. Occupied, I would assume, with Wednesday Season 2, if that is even still something that starts filming later this year after the strike, if it's hopefully over by then. And then he went on, they went on to continue to say, I'm told Yellow Jacket Season 3's writer's room barely got started before the strike, but Jasmine Savoy Brown is obligated to shoot it over Scream 7 if there are scheduling conflicts. So that's an issue as well. Yet another reason Scream 7 is forced to hit the brakes unless something changes. So Scream 7 is not something that isn't going to is not something that they don't want to happen. It's of course something that has to get everything in line. And if your stars that are in, that are important to your story are not available, and if they can't commit due to contractual obligations, and if they're already written into your story, you either A, can write them out of the story, or you just simply wait. Due to the writer strike, waiting is obviously gonna seem like the more likely thing that would have to happen anyway, because you guys wanted to start shooting in the fall. But then the writer's room, apparently, for Yellow Jacket Season 3 barely got started before the strike. But once it's over, Jasmine is contracted to shoot this over Scream 7. So if, if the character of Mindy is someone who is important enough to the story of Scream 7 that it warrants them deciding to say, okay, let's shoot it next year. I get that. But ultimately, it's because of this writer's strike. I mean, that, that would be the case more than anything. Given how this industry is, if they genuinely just wanted to shoot it without these stars, they would do it. But of course, we know the writer strike is really the biggest thing that's stopping them from doing it. They could easily say, oh, hey, you know, Jasmine, she has to shoot Yellow Jacket season three over Scream 7. And if the higher ups decide to say, hey, well, you know, write her out of the script, they'll just write her out of the script. <laughs> That's just, it's just, it'll just be as simple as that. It depends on, of course, how integral her role would be to the story. But it sounds like due to contractual obligations for Yellow Jackets, that's one of the things that would make it more likely, according to Cinestealth, for Scream 7 to start shooting sometime next year, which is fine. There's no real rush to get the movie shot or anything. But again, prior to the writer's strike, the rumor was that Paramount wanted the film shooting by the end of the fall. But again, that was all prior to the writer's strike. That doesn't mean that anybody lied. <laughs> it's just there are things that happened that no one foresaw. Of course, the, the writer's strike was, was looming and it was building up, but nobody was actually hoping and expecting for them to just fall into this mess. 
that we're now unfortunately in. So by the end of this, Jasmine apparently has to shoot Yellow Jacket season three over Scream 7 due to contractual obligations. And due to the writer's strike already taking place, that's another thing that's primarily, I would think, stopping us from having Scream 7 shoot later this fall. And then with the strike, it unfortunately an unfortunate thing that actually then opens up the platform or opens up the opportunity and chances of jasmine and jenna not having to sit out scream seven at all because jenna could shoot wednesday season two while she's shooting wednesday season two jasmine can shoot yellow jacket season three uh they're already allowing radio silence and melissa barrera to go off and shoot this other universal monster movie again i touched upon this in another video Paramount and Spyglass, they're well aware of what this crew wants to do and what other projects they're assigned to and what their schedules are looking like. They're aware of that. The writer strike is really the main thing that's stopping us right now. So with all of that in mind and the fall date possibly not even being more likely, Cinestuff is saying not to expect this movie to start filming until sometime next year. And I got to agree with them. I would hope it can change and they start filming later this year, but we'll see. You guys, let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and there's a video in the description. I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you want me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.